much about them. And the whole thing was that obviously these beasts aren't real. So the whole thing was kind of made of imagination. You have to kind of picture it all your own way. And I think that's why you see my beast is green, but m m another kid who did the exact thing as me, his is orange and it's all basically about like imagining it your own way. And that's kind of, I think in some ways that might be a little more, a, a little, you learn different things. Plastic bags to get the the sculpt sculpt the I, my beast, and then I taped it with some black tape, and then I had to make sure that it was shaped well, and then I painted over it during this kind of dry paint technique. My beast is a lion, a goat, and a serpent and a snake. Okay, so the myth, and I also used some little hairs. And it lights up right the eyes, and then it lights up with the uh, these two eyes. It was very fun to make this beast. In science class, we've been working on some uh, series circuits, and so we used some science with it, and we had to wire the eyes and connect it with. I used two batteries because I, I just added on after. And this is a different style of art because we use plastic bags to make the structure of the body. And it was really fun just experimenting with new types of art and learning more. Because it's all recycled stuff. Like, it's all cardboard and like plastic cups and stuff. I'm Brooke, and this is Cerberus. experience making the beast. We, we had a whole week dedicated to finding information to find the perfect way to make the beast with all the information. Well, I feel like it was a lot more creative and fun than just studying for a test because you got to do a lot more. You got to wire things and make things all out of plastic bags. For the wings, you know the hangers that we hang clothes up on? Oh, yeah. I just put them on top. Like, I layer them and then I just tape them up real good so they would be secure. Cool. And for the feet, I use little pieces of cardboard.